It says you're throwing a pizza party for 15 people. 15 people. We're trying to feed 15 people at this party. Right. And we figure that each person will eat four slices. So we could set up a conversion factor here that each one people or one person in terms of uh, their pizza consumption will be consuming four slices. Right. You know, uh, we could do this, some of this in our head. Well, then if each person is going to eat four slices, then 15 people would require how many slices? 15 times four, which is 60, you know. So I need to buy 60 slices of pizza. But we want to set this up using dimensional analysis into a nice equation. So you know, we can sort of do some of this arithmetic in our head as we go along, but we want to set it up as a dimensional analysis equation, uh, ultimately. Anyway, let's keep going. You call up the pizza place and learn, that should be learn, that each pizza will cost you $14.78. So that gives us another conversion. Each pizza I buy is going to cost me dollars. The unit of measure here is dollars. Fourteen. $78. Right. And each pizza pie is cut into 12 slices. So that one pizza pie is equal to 12 slices. All right. Remember what we said. We could get 60 slices out of here. And like if each pie is 12 slices, how many pies would that be? Eh, I don't know. Uh, let's set this up as a dimension analysis problem. And it all works itself out. All right. We're going to start with the notion that, uh, um, you know, if we have to figure out how much this is going to cost, the more people I invite, the more it's going to cost. The fewer people I invite, the less it's going to cost. So the cost of this uh, party is going to depend on the 15 people. So that's our starting point. So let's write that down. 15 persons or 15 people. And which one of these conversion factors has persons or people in it? Well, it's this first one right here. Every one people or every one person is going to be four slices. And this is exactly what I had mentioned earlier on, that to get the total number of slices, we had to multiply 15 times 4. And we see that happening right here. All right. So we could cancel people or persons out in this step and we're left with slices all right now we also know that here's a, a conversion factor that's got slices in it let's just stick that in 12 slices is equal to a pizza pie one pizza all right and that allows us to cancel slices and finally, we could get talking about the cost because we're told that one pizza is $14.78. And I've got pizza units here. It fits in here perfect. One pizza is $14.78. That allows me to cancel out pizzas. The only unit I'm left with here is the units of dollars. And that's it. Now, I don't write dollars at the end of the number. I write it in front. So that's a little unusual. Most units are behind the number. The dollars is out in front. But that was the question. How much is the pizza going to cost you? Right. So I've worked out my units. Now I have to get the... Uh, the arithmetic done, the, the work with our numbers. Let's go ahead and simplify the view here by erasing the units and leaving bare to us just the numbers. I have a couple of fractions being multiplied here. I have this fraction times this fraction times this fraction times and then just the number 15 out here, I'm going to turn that into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now, how do I multiply fractions? I multiply all the numerators. So it would be 15 times 4 times 1. I could skip that. 
times 14.78 all over 1 times 1 times 12 times 1 which is just 12 and that is the number of dollars I'm going to have to spend to feed 15 people assuming they eat four slices each all right so let me get out my calculator and start doing this 15 times 4 you already said that was 6 you already said that was 60 uh, and then we're going to multiply that by $14.78 and then divide that whole number by 12. So it's 70 3 dollars and 90 cents is the answer to this now if you go back and read the last uh, part of this question it tells you you only have 70 dollars will you have enough money well no you don't how much money are you short well if you have 70 dollars but we've just figured it's 73 dollars and 90 cents Obviously, you're short by $3.90.